Okay, let's have a quick look in the box. We might not have got, gotten a notification for it. For a rifle becoming unlimited use. Where are they? I'm being blind here, aren't I? Oh yeah, they're at the bottom. 10 MXs. So they're not unlimited yet. And we've got 2,000 bullets for it. See, I was still going to be using the regular loadout for now. It's not serving the uh, military police first, which is concerning. Because we've definitely got more than a couple of those in there. We want to use this thing on the floor here, the lantern, and rest for eight hours. It'll fail all the missions we currently got active, but that's fine. We just want it to become night time. So what, it's uh, five o'clock now? So we want to do it again. There we are, night time. And then we want the Sith Lord out. HQ management. Let's get the off road back out of here. There we go. Get our lights on. We should be able to fast travel most of the way there, actually. We're just going to use this radio tower again since it's one of the easiest ones to do this with. Under attack or with enemies in the surrounding. Okay, so because the outpost's nearby, we can't do that. Which means that it's going to be even more useful once I get some more of those fast travel points down. Which I'll probably want to spend most of my HR on next. just noticed as well we've gone back down to town aggression which is what we started well that's not what we started at but it's pretty close to what I was on around the end of the first session so we're not doing too bad on that front it's a shame about towns contributing to war level though I suppose it is war level 2 just as soon as you own a map element right so we'll see how high that ends up going by the time that we control most of the towns it might just be a case if it goes up a lot more than I thought it did, and I think I just almost robbed the off-road. So we'll end up having to, like, take over a few areas like resource dumps and radio towers and factories. But, like, the generic military outposts. I don't think we really have a reason to try and hold, and that thing almost hit me. So now we're in more level 2, and then also with every wall level on top of this. We have a reduced chance to be able to sneak into our posts successfully, like without them uh, recognizing us, even though they've never seen us before. Well, I suppose these guys have seen me, but still. It looks like we're okay this time around. Oh no, that's not good. How do I reverse out of this without killing somebody? It's going to have to be a leap of faith, really, isn't it? Alright, I think I'm close enough to the box. Where is it? I've lost the box. There's a Ural there. This is it. Ah, oh, it's here. Okay. Need to bring the car closer. Hopefully that's close enough. There we are. And the guards has just flipped sides again, which is unfortunate. Wolof has gone back down though. Which isn't too bad, actually. But still, we are scot-free with another box of supplies. So it will have been the, uh, the influence from the radio tower, which put the guards back under USAF control. So every time resources tick in, you saw it happened, like when I got my money and uh, human resources. It modifies the support in the town. So if you control the radio tower that's near each town, that town will support you a little bit more. And then of course, once you have more support than the opposing faction, they will flip to your side. This does unfortunately mean that I'm not going to be able to fast travel Again. So I'm driving all the way back to base before I can check what I've got in my car. And we 
actually look at what I found. I can only assume this is like a, well, it'll either be a patrol or a QRF to where I killed people up here before. I'm not actually carrying, ah, it's a patrol, okay. I'm not carrying anything which can do any damage to it. I've got a pistol in my bag. So I don't have my RPG, I don't have anything like that. So... I'm gonna just, like, park in front of it. Or it's gonna ram me, okay. Yeah, let's see if we can bring it to a stop. Just be careful not to drive away from the road, and it should. Yeah, just break. I think it's turning around. We don't want it to come up in this direction since our base is up here. It's probably never going to find it, but, you know, just in case. So, of course, the safest way to uh, hide yourself is to break somebody's AI. Foolproof plan. Works every time. Alright, let's drop this thing out of here. If the game would let me. Hello? There we go. See what we've got in here, see if my strat worked. M4s, M27s, some attachments, thankfully. A few mines, but no. No night vision goggles. Which is a real shame. Let's get this off-road, uh, in fact, let's just garage it. Oh, I can't do that because, uh, we've gone back down to wall level 1. Pull it forward a bit so that I can transfer this ammo box into here. There we go. So I'm probably going to have to go down and kill a soldier or something. That patrol might still be stuck there. So if I grab my combat loadout with the RPG, just pop a quick save. I need to get into the habit of doing that more often. Now I've got to see if I can hit it. It's probably not going to explode when I hit it because it is an ambush protected vehicle. But I should at least be able to take out the gun that's on the top of it. And then, you know, shoot the soldiers as they dismount. That's assuming the thing's even still down here. I don't see why it wouldn't be, but we've had patrols disappear in the past. Yeah, and either it did turn around when I knocked it and it's long gone. Or it's like up in hell somewhere now, so... I think that one's uh, vanished. The patrol mark has disappeared here too. Oh wait. It's appeared down the bottom of the town now, so it did like actually turn around when I brought it to a stop. I just expected it to freeze in place, I didn't think they'd actually turn around and go the other direction. It seems like I could be quite easily exploited. I wonder if you could, like, turn a QRF around if you do that, too. Or even, like, a, a convoy. I did scatter the convoy with the same tactic before. Thinking about it, yeah, a lot of the vehicles from that convoy did return to base, didn't they? So is that where this one's going? Here it is. Oh, I just ran over a seven. and they didn't even care. Yeah, it might be returning to bears. It's just the one guy in there by the look of it. So nobody's going to be on the gun. Right? Let's try and get a better look. Oh no, there is a guy in there. Most likely on the gun than I would have thought. Okay, let's try and stop him again. I think that just killed me. I ejected from the, uh, the vehicle. Interesting. So that'll be why I ejected then. Yeah, very interesting. I look a bit possessed there, don't I? Had a bit of an accident. Oh well. Alright, you know what? I think it's time that we bring the big boy vests out.
I'll take the team leader ones since they're just better. Take one of these helmets. I've put a light on my weapon. And the reason we're doing this is because the supply box is for Agios. So if we can capture this town really close by, that's going to help us out immensely. Of course, I can't sleep to do it at daytime because that'll fail the mission. And so I just generally want to give myself the best chance possible, really. Now, unfortunately, the objective marker is in the middle of, like, basically nowhere. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to park the off-road facing this direction. I'm going to get in that box car and turn its lights on to face in the other direction. And then maybe grab this off-road and position this down here too. There it goes, we've got lights on here. Okay, we've got ourselves a decent field of vision set up, I think. Uh, I can't really see anything from in there, which is a shame. I guess I just have to be extremely careful. Oh, these civilians have been making me very jumpy with all the footsteps. I know I killed a ton of people in this town already. Like a ton of the military police when I farmed all of that gear. And the box is done, that's good. Yeah, I know I killed a ton of them already. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to come just crawling out of the woodwork at any point. Let's get out of here and go rest. Our aggression's gone down to two, which is quite interesting. And that guy just ran into me. Never mind, it's back up to three. Alright, back at base. May as well rest until morning because I don't have any night vision goggles. There wasn't a cure for that uh, supply box either. And now that it's morning, we can grab ourselves another mission. Of course, do a quick save first. And let's get an assassination. Alright, well apparently he has a mission for me. But he doesn't have a mission for me. Let's try that again. Yeah, let's maybe restart the mission. Alright, we're back in. The map's reinitialized. There we go. Kill the traitor as well. Oh, and it's just down the road in Agios again. Oh, well, Agios Constantinos. I do realize there's several places which begin with the word Agios. Just what I've taken to calling the place. There's some of the military police. Are they carrying MXs too? Uh, no, these ones have MP5s by the look of it. Now would you look at that. Oh, I would plow straight through the middle of that if I wasn't carrying um, one of my good vests. Alright, let's get this thing parked up here for cover. Can't really see a massive amount, but I don't think there's much I can do about that. Okay, drop the one. Need to be careful not to fire off too many random shots. Now that I think about it, I could have done with a couple grenades. Oh, look at the dog over on the left there. I'm not going to shoot the dog, by the way. Don't worry about that. I know I shot a couple dogs in my previous playthrough, but not this time around. Not yet, at least. Oh, it's just a sieve. I thought they were pushing me around the other side. They're not pushing at all, to be fair. I think the trailer isn't even moving out to the vehicle yet. Again, another sieve. Oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure I headshot the, the uh, traitor. Yeah, he's lying on the ground next to the car. 
Yeah, let's just uh make good on the deed there. Kill confirmed and all that. Uh, popping smokes up there. I just saw a couple moves, so I think they're moving around the back of the building now. Let's have a quick wander up the fence and see. Again, the sieves. No one there just yet. They just will not move out to meet me, will they? You have no idea how tempted I am to push them. Oh, fuck it, you know what? I'm gonna park the off-road next to that sedan, I think. Alright, let's go. Well, that did, uh, a lot for me, didn't it? I can see everything from here. You know, I think that guy just died. Can't tell that, might need an autopsy. Right, let's move up a bit closer. Get that thing parked sideways. Turn the engine off, though. Oh, he's surrendered. That explains why they're not pushing. That guy, however, has not. And he's down. Alright, I'm going to be brave and go on the assumption that that's all of them. Let's get this guy revived just to offset some aggression, then I'll pop him one in the noggin and take his gear. Well, more like a few in the foot because I don't want to Lose the equipment he's got. Lose his helmet or anything. Oh, and he's just... he's dead. Donald and Newton. We lost him. Oh well. I'm sure he was a twat anyway. Night vision. Perfect. This is exactly what I was after, actually. He's got an Ambav vest. Is that armor level 4? The same as what I'm carrying. Okay, let's get a couple medkits out of here. And I'll put a couple magazines into my into my uh, uniform. Then I can just drop this vest into here. Drop that in there. And the spare RPG. Still no QRF, but um, Agios has joined up with us. Someone's a bit led to the party. Where was that from? It's like way up there way somewhere. There they are. Oh, there's two of them. That didn't work out very well for him, did it? Oh, there's another? Oh, they're all coming out of the woodwork now, eh? Jesus, was this a QRF or something? I think I got him on. 